Okay, they've been playing around with uh, the original Xbox. Um, this first came out in uh, November 2001, obviously by Microsoft, manufactured by uh, Flextronics. It's a sixth generation console. This is the original console, the crystal version. This is what I want to turn it into. Um, my slimline design, it's not. it's been documented. Lots of other people have done similar options. Uh, this is just the way, obviously, I wanted to do it. There's some of the models that I've done, LCD mods, bits and bobs that I've done on the Xbox. The beauty of the Xbox 4 modding is it's relatively cheap, easy to find, um, it's pretty simple, it's, it's all PC based sort of architecture. Um, you know, the design of it was a, a Pentium uh, 3, 733 MHz uh, processor, 64 MB RAM. Usually came with an 8 or 10 gig sort of hard drive and it had uh, NVIDIA GeForce 3 um, graphics. So it's easily custom moddable, you can soft mod it, you can hard mod it. This, most of mine are hard modded just because it, I find it an easier process and a more pleasant process. Once you've modded it, um, you can put a bigger hard drive in it, um, you can boot from hard drives so that there's no um, DVDs for games or anything like that. That's what makes this mod so great because um, you can do away with the DVD drive, slim the console right down and it looks so much nicer. I think most people would appreciate that this does look far far nicer than the original next to it even with the LED mods that I'm showing here and um, the original unit is a, is a beast of a unit it's heavy it's big um, it's a fantastic unit to mod like I said there is so much this is it's become a Swiss army knife of consoles there's so much you can do you can load on ordinary Xbox games there's so many emulators and things you can do so what I wanted to focus this video on was the slimline version that, I, that I'd done um, and, and based things I'd gone around, the decisions I'd gone around to make it. So standard hard drive, uh, standard power supply stays in there, as you can see there. I had to change the fan at the back because it no longer fitted. I had to drop it out of its case. You can see I've cable tied that to the back case. A lot of the early ones came with a fan on that processor, but I've had to ha I've decided to add a, um, a fan to that heatsink. Just a quick snippet there. There's the DVD controller board. I couldn't find any other way around it really to get this get the system slimmer so I took the DVD controller board out of the drive that you can see there um, bridged the pins that were for the contacts that showed that the drive was open or closed so bridge those so it permanently thinks the DVD drive is shut um, then basically it's a lot of cutting cutting off uh, you, you, know, you can use this as a guide if you're going to be doing this yourself you have to cut off all the the rim to uh, you know, lower the profile of the actual Xbox case and cut off some of the bits inside just so that it fits in then um, cut the RF shield um, down to about that sort of size that's quite nice then round the front you've got to cut round pretty much on the line of the DVD player you can see that area is smooth that's the line of the DVD player so what I've done then the hard drive normally sits on the right hand side of the case but I've moved it over to the left hand side where the DVD drive would have been which required that plastic inner casing to be modified and slimmed right down the, fa the fan power supply comes from the um, Mullinex line to the hard drive it doesn't affect its operation, I've gone on quite well there so there's the uh, hard drive power, it's got a SATA to IDE converter um, that's the uh, fan there just showing that going in there I've, had, I've changed to use that IDE converter you have, you've got to change the IDE cable to the 80 pin to allow that to function properly so they're some of the design choices that I used inside the Xbox to, to, to slim it down um, the DVD controller board was the biggest thing decision to make um, I couldn't find a way around um, but taking off a lot of the components and slimming it right down I thought really worked quite well this is um, to some of the LED mods I've done. I decided on this particular build just to go with all white LEDs. Um, there's no RGB control on this. It's just a pure white. I think it looks great in the crystal case. So I'm really pleased the way that turned out. This one does have RGB uh, in it, so you can choose what you want. You can choose the color uh, orientations of all of that and, and how you want to display it. This was a mix mash. Um, decided to go with these colors just to see, push it to see all the different colours and how far I could push the colour scheme on the Xbox. Again the crystal case is brilliant purely and simply because you can see all the way through it and it looks absolutely fantastic. This particular system is running Xbox Media Center. Normally I'll run a different dashboard just for simplicity but just to show you there how great those uh, LEDs are. Three LEDs either side above the controller ports and then a, a string of LEDs down the side. Very very simple to fit. 
Um, just double sided um, obviously on the back of the LED so they just stick to the shroud. Just use one of these with like the, the LED strips with the controller on them. You know, they're, they're readily available, Argos, Amazon, you know, they all sell them. So they're really easy to get, you just cut it up to fit really. Sometimes you have to put a little jumper wire in if you want to get it around there, but that's the power supplies on the different Xboxes. I, you know, I would pick the red in my particular instance because it was a 5 volt power supply, so that's what I've used to power the LEDs. And there seems to be more than enough um, ample power on the power supply to make all of this work perfectly. That's the red Xbox. So you can see that's just a slightly different take on it. Again, I was I went through a bit of a phase where I tried out all these different colours. So really pleased with the, the slim version. Didn't want to LED that one. But I'm really pleased that the uh, LED one works too. So a quick snippet there. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.